Hi there, Ram Ram, Namaskaram. Welcome to Himalayan Seeds. My name is Monita. In this video, I'll be sharing some information about the Nag Panchmi, a day observed by Hindus to worship the serpent gods. According to the Hindu calendar, Nag Panchmi is observed in the lunar month of Shravan and on the Panj or the fifth day of the Shukla Paksh, which means on the fifth day of the bright half or the waxing moon of the month. As per the Gregorian calendar, this falls in the month of July or August, and this year Nag Panchmi falls on the 2nd of August. In some parts of India, such as in Gujarat, Nag Panchmi is celebrated 15 days later in the same month Shravan, but during the Krishna Paksh, which is the dark half or the waning moon. It is usually observed three days before Christian Mastami, and thus in this year, it will be celebrated on the 16th of August. Nag is a Sanskrit term for cobra. It is also sometimes used to refer to snakes or serp in general. However, in the Hindu mythology, the word Nag usually depicts a divine race that can assume their physical form either as human, serpent or half human and half serpent. Thus, they are also called Nag Devata. Devata means demigod or deity. Nags are believed to reside in the seventh realm of the Patal Lok or the Netherworld. This realm or dimension is the lowest in the Patal Lok and is called the Nag Lok. Nags are also believed to reside in water bodies such as seas, rivers and lakes and as earth dwellers. They are associated with mysticism and are often considered as protectors or guardians of things such as treasure, water sources, etc. In Hinduism, the entire creation is considered to have the same essence as divine. Just like in several indigenous cultures, worshipping nature and animals, including reptiles such as snakes, are an integral part of Hinduism. The stories of Nag or serpent deities have been narrated in several ancient Hindu scriptures such as the Srimad Bhagavad and the Vishnu Purana. Sharing those stories here will make this video long and so keeping the focus on the topic of Nag Panchmi, I'll share a few points here. Lord Vishnu is often depicted as resting or reclining on a huge serpent in the celestial ocean of milk called the Shir Sagar. The name of this Nag is Sesh. According to Hindu scriptures, when Lord Vishnu descended on earth in Ram Avatar or Avatar, Sesh Nag incarnated as Lord Ram's younger brother named Lakshman. Similarly, when Vishnu took the form or avatar of Krishna, Sheshnag incarnated as Lord Krishna's elder brother Balaram. Further, Sage Patanjali, the compiler of the Yoga Sutras, who is often depicted as half human and half serpent, is considered to be an incarnation of Sheshnag. When we consider Lord Shiva, he is often depicted with a nag coiled around his neck like an ornament or garland. The name of this nag is Vasuki and he is an ardent devotee of Lord Shiva. Vasuki is also the younger brother of Sheshnag. Coming to Lord Krishna, sometimes he is portrayed as a young boy dancing on the hoots of a serpent. This nag is known as Kalya or Kalinga. Thus this dance act is known as Kalinga Nartha. Other than Seshnag, Vasuki and Kalia, some of the serpent gods who are worshipped on Nag Panchmi are Anant, Shankapal, Kambal, Karkotak, Dhritrasht, Ashvatra, Takshak, Padmanabh and Pingala. On the day of Nag Panchmi, devotees may choose to visit a temple or they may conduct the prayers at home. Usually fruits, flowers etc. are offered to the idol or the image of the Nag Devta or to the prayer altar at home, and a diya or lamp is lit. Prayers to Lord Shiva and Shivling are also performed on the day, and depending on one's health and capacity, some devotees may observe a fast on the day of Nag Panchmi and uh, have a vegetarian sattvic meal in the evening. There are a couple of Nag mantras that devotees chant on the day, such as the Nag Gayatri mantra and the Nag Stotra. Some people chant the Maha Mantra, Om Namah Shivai. I like this beautiful chant by Sons of Isha, starting with the verse Nag Nag Nagendraya. It's one of the chants I like listening to when driving to work in the morning as it really energizes me. I'll share a link um, of this chant in the description box 
of this video. On the auspicious occasion of Nag Panchmi, may our prayers be received by Lord Shiva and the Nag Devtas. May we also pay our obeisance to the cold serpent, known as the Kundalini energy or the divine feminine energy, Shakti, which is within each one of us, hoping that our perception and awareness of life raises beyond the five senses and we could know ourselves better and hence live better. If you've found this video informative or useful, please feel free to share and subscribe. Thank you. Namaskaram.